Hello YouTube. This is the first edition of Happy Fish Fish Documentaries and it will be about the beta fish. Common name Siamese Sighter or Siamese Sighting Fish. Scientific name Beta Splendens. This is a male I've got here. It's blue coloration, you can get them in red, blue, yellow, green, purple, even some orange and black variants have popped up. There are other species of the same sort of animal, such as the peaceful beta, nevertheless just as aggressive. They are they are peaceful to most other species, besides guppies, but that's only because they look like another male fighter. Beaters are extremely aggressive towards other males and to females that are not yet ready to mate. They are a bubble nest builder, which means they store their eggs in a nest of bubbles. The male is the parent, the female has no further um, to do with the young after they've been laid and put in the nest. They are extremely good just to keep one male on its own in the aquarium. They are compatible with most um, aquarium fish besides guppies that can be bullisome and the fight with the fighter and uh, barbs that have a tendency to nip their fins. The exception of course is cherry barbs, quite a friendly fish. Although my last beater killed all my cherry barbs while I was on holiday, which wasn't very nice, so probably not a good idea. Uh, just following it around the tank, it's pretty difficult to follow, it's displaying to me. And at least you can see it. Uh, they can do some pretty weird things, change colour for instance, massive changes in lighting, water, feeding can cause them to change colour. For instance, my the bulb went in this tank a couple of days ago, so it was uh, without light for three days. Before this it didn't have any purple bits. If you look closely, you can see it does now have some rather nice purple bits. I'll see if I can show you. They probably saw it on the fins there. Not quite sure. This camera isn't very good. This is just a DS camera. Pretty rubbish. But it'll have to do. Uh, the Siamese fighter likes temperatures of around... 26, 27 degrees, so the warmer end of the spectrum. If you want to keep it with the cooler, li cooler liking species like uh, minnows and danios and things, then sort of the minimum would be 20, 21 degrees. Absolute minimum 19 or 18. Any lower than that, they probably won't last very long. It'll be very difficult to acclimatise. <coughs> they are a good centerpiece for any tank. Because sort of you can get a you get a very wide variety of colours and you can get lots of different finage and uh, they are just a very they're very peaceful when there's nothing in the tank for them to be aggressive to. So if you have like uh, platys, neons, corridors, and fr even the African dwarf frog and a zebra neurite snail, yeah, very very cooperative with them. You get a little bit of aggression out of them occasionally, but I suppose you get a little bit of aggression out of them occasionally of most species. So, most people try it, try them at least once in their aquatic career. And it's definitely one of my favourite, if not my fav my one favourite fish. So, uh, tune in next time. We'll be discussing a different species. Haven't decided what that is yet, but... Oh, the feeding for a Siamese fighting fish. Uh, they'll accept flake or granule food, so nibble at an algae wafer, but not primarily their food. They do enjoy uh, live or frozen food. Bloodworm particularly helps their colours and it, it lengthens their lifespan a little bit. Their lifespan, by the way, is sort of two years maximum. Uh, two and a half if you're really lucky. I was really lucky with my last beta. The water conditions broke down and it died. Sadly. Um, just my advice would be don't keep, never keep two males together. Because they'll fight so aggressively that one, if not both of them, will die. 
And if you're going to keep males with females, keep one female, keep one male to several females, as many females as possible, to dispense the aggression a bit. Has worked for people. Never done it myself. Only ever kept males because they're a lot nicer. You sort of bond with them. They have a strong bond with their own. And he's looking at me now. See, see. Very nice fish to keep. Anyway, tune in next time.